Hello everybody, my name is Nick Kapumian and welcome back to another episode of Life Strange Before the Storm. I don't know how close we are to the end of episode 2. I feel like we're getting close to it because if you do not remember, last time we are getting ready to leave Acadia Bay with Rachel Amber. Which we of course know will not happen because of the fact that the next... <coughs> because of the fact that this is a prequel and the future game, Chloe's still there and Rachel's dead. Which is why I hate prequels because if you know stuff that's going to happen, who cares? Oh, we're also at Rachel's house. Hmm. Huh. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Mm. It was. It is. Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel? Honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, mm. she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Mm. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, <coughs> I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? I do yes, not. Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner? Please? Uh, <laughs> of course. What could possibly Great. go wrong? I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Flo? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down? Please hurry back, man. Just like... hurry back. <coughs> I don't know how long I can keep this up. Try doing it your whole life. And, Chloe? We just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, that I, I would normally. Exactly. Just some quality time. I'm with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, that's what I've been saying this whole game. So. I'll get the point of that. There's no puzzle to which swords isn't the salute. Is there a sword there? I don't. <coughs> hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Mm. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. <coughs> All right, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Yeah. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Jesus. Yeah. 
I mean, at least it worked itself out. It's off to the table with you. I don't have it in our hands. Where's the table? Oh. <coughs> Jeez. Text her back, you're at least at Amber's, Rachel Am, what the? Glasses. Damn. <coughs> Amber's are <coughs> fancy as shit. I guess we're not taking them to put on the, all right, whatever, it's fine. Let's go talk to the dad. Let's try to blackmail him. Hi, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? That's weird. So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? <laughs> it was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Gotta go! <coughs> Duty calls. <laughs> a good chat, Mr. Am- Mm-hmm. Yes, Chloe? What's next? Plates, check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say Sherry. Okay. One, two, three, Sherry. Comical. <clears throat> Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> Rose and I, we're worried <clears throat> about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Ah. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. Mm -hmm. What's that thing going on in there? Are you writing some something down? I don't know. I don't care. Yes, Chloe? <coughs> the boss man would like a shit. Thank you. The glasses are in the China cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> It's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Uh, it's the triangle shaped one. 
basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. I'm assuming he's gonna sit here, which I was right about. <coughs> yes, Chloe? It's stuff like this that makes what me hate the game. Else? Why do we need to be doing this right Feel now? This like is so I'm pointless. Getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the. It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. <laughs> you never know when you'll need to light a candle, right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to light some candles and. Bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> the Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Finally, dinner time. All that pointless crap is out of the way. Then again, this could be seen as pointless. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? <coughs> Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. <coughs> yeah, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Rachel Thanks. looks like she's getting mad. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Oh, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna say anything to him. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's super true. Uh, and also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. <coughs> An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blowny. Ah, stop! Rachel! Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another stop folk? Stop it. Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! At least we didn't stop do it. Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying... Cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. <coughs> James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel, honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, 
I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. <coughs> I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Whoa. Whoa. What's gonna happen? This is intense right now. Rachel's gonna flip. for one fucking minute can't you just be my dad Rachel that woman you saw <coughs> that wasn't my mistress that was your mother I'm sorry, what? Kidding me right now. That's insane. Okay, couple things. Why? This is insane. And there it is. Life is strange before the storm. Episode 2 is now complete. <coughs> We're not going through this. Alright, let's see our thingies here. You took the blame for Rachel 80%. You emptied your pockets at David's request 62%. You gave Damon the money 33%. What? <coughs> Are you serious? You asked Rachel for a kiss, 73%. I am glad most of us were on the same page with that one. Alright, you intended to go to the play with Elliot, 11%. You refused to start over, 24%. Wow, actually, 
That's interesting. Didn't put the singing man on the dashboard of the truck. I don't even know what that is. Uh, bobblehead idiots. <coughs> you didn't pay off your debt to Frank. 98%. Didn't even have money. Are you telling me that there was a way to get money and 2% found a way to do it? All right, you didn't tell Steph that Rachel was single, 85%. You didn't return Drew's money to him, 68%. You didn't give Samantha advice, 39%. Huh. That is interesting. You confronted Victoria before the play. <coughs> you tricked Victoria before the play, 38%. I would have rather have tricked her, to be honest. You told Rachel, Rachel you'd like to go to Los Angeles, 39%. The other one was just road trip, and 26% is New York. Cool. Uh, Rachel attacked James at dinner, 72%. Yeah, I'm glad most of us kept our mouth shut, and it was um, Rachel's doing. Okay, and now a little preview of next episode. What do they have in store for us? Okay, that was basically nothing. Well, that concludes our second episode. We have officially caught up before the third episode has released. How great is that? Now I just have to edit them and pull it out. Hopefully this episode comes out before episode 3 releases so I can be on top of the game. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe before episode 3 drops. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.